restlessness. Overthinking? It's like a blur. You lose your breath. When you think of it, it makes you shake. It's like everything feels very fast and you feel like you're very slow. We think about the past, we think about the present, we think about the future, like all together. Worrying about what's going to happen. And actually we have to be present. Anxiety can actually be really subtle. Not being able to concentrate, feeling uneasy. Sometimes it's, it seems small to everyone else, but for the person that's going through it, it's a huge thing. People might say, just relax, don't stress too much about that. It's fine, it's fine, but it's not. <laughs> but I'm here, I'm fine, so it's kind of okay, you, you can go through it. Hi, I'm Dr. Leslie Freeman. I'm a psychologist and I'm one of the student counsellors. We're part of the health service here and we exist on all campuses. So let me start by saying actually that anxiety is completely normal. Everybody will experience anxiety at some point. I guess many people have um, some misconceptions about what anxiety is and who might experience it. For instance, I suffer from anxiety. Um, it runs in my family. It doesn't discriminate. It is a genetic disorder, largely. You don't have to be shy, you don't have to be introverted, and certainly it doesn't mean that you lack courage. But many people with anxiety function really well in the world. Certainly, if you think someone is suffering anxiety, don't ever say, just pull yourself together, or don't worry about it, or don't be silly, it's not scary, because people can be scared of all sorts of things. You sit with them and reassure them, and if you're ever in doubt whether somebody's having a panic attack or something more serious, always call an ambulance. So please don't suffer in silence. Just because other people look at you and think there's nothing wrong with you doesn't mean you shouldn't ask for help.